reports claim that King Charles III has invited Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to the royal family holiday at Balmoral Castle in Scotland. Royal commentator Rebecca English told a publication that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have a permanent invitation to join family gatherings but it hasn't exactly been cancelled, but is certainly not expected to be used. Hello and a very warm welcome to British Royal Daily Update's YouTube channel. It is uncertain if the monarch really wishes them there, or if he is just trying to stay ahead of the royal rebels. People believe that the king is the only senior royal who still talks to the Montecito couple, but his chats with them are scarce and monitored closely. The new king is following his mother, the late Queen Elizabeth II's tradition of spending late July early October out of the public eye on the Balmoral estate, which she did every year of her 70-plus year reign without fail. Senior and other members of the royal family stay at the old castle at different moments during this time. The Duke of Sussex's previous visit to the estate was on September 8, 2022, the day Elizabeth II passed away and his father became king. Harry wrote in his memoir that his family did not include him in quick travel plans to reach the castle before the esteemed queen died. It is reported that he was the last one to arrive, hours after his grandmother was already dead. He and Meghan attended Elizabeth's state funeral on September 19, which marks the last time both were in the United Kingdom with the royal family until now. The Montecito royals released their controversial Netflix documentary in December, which was a hit on the streaming service and the Duke's divisive memoir, Spare, the following month. Because of the heated accusations, the red-haired prince revealed in the book and the Duchess of Sussex's mocking of the adored late queen in the documentary, royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams said that they would face humiliation if they were ever seen with the royal family again. This would be one of the most odd events in royal history if they returned after all the attacks. The idea that after everything that has happened that Meghan and Harry could just walk back in is very extraordinary, Fitzwilliams dished. Oh brother! and I mean that in the literal sense. Watching this video, it feels like the sort of shamelessly self-promotional, dignity-lacking stuff that Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have happily put out. Harry asking to use a stranger's bathroom during a late-night TV segment, Meghan filming her cheesy 40x40 40 40 video announcement in 2021, an initiative that vanished without a trace. What William's sorted video outing represents is the worst of social media reputational masturbation. Heck, he manages to use I 10 times in the first two minutes in a segment that also involves three other people talking too. Let me be clear, his Earthshot prize is bloody awesome stuff and exactly the sort of amazingly innovative, big picture, deep pocketed initiative that the royal family has proven surprisingly skilled at getting off the ground, big shout out to the underrated Prince's Trust. The products featured in the video are also amazing ingredients from an Indian startup that has created a greenhouse in a box which were cooked on a cleaner burning portable stove created in Kenya and served in natural takeaway containers made using seaweed and plant extracts. It's exactly this sort of inventiveness, creativity and courage that will help save the planet. However, while the video does highlight the innovation of these three companies, it seems much more intent on strongly promoting William and framing him as if he's personally giving CPR to endangered penguins in the Antarctic. And perhaps we could forgive William selling himself here so eagerly if this was a one-off, except that it's not. Far from it. In fact, the last few months have seen such a Vesuvius-like eruption of Wales promotional videos and social media outings that we are close to a really off-putting past the sick bag tipping point. King Charles' coronation saw the Wales outfit put out more smug high-def, high-gloss footage than a Netflix production with a limitless budget. In the last few months we have also had Kate done up and playing the piano for a surprise appearance during Eurovision, Kate playing tennis with Roger Federer and William meeting a man saved by East Anglia Air Ambulance, where he used to work, which had the feel of an A Current Affair reunion special. In July, when William visited an ancient woodland in Dartmoor to announce he was going to double the size of the temperate rainforest, it resulted in a video that looked like his audition tape to replace Sir David Attenborough on the telly. How much earnest listening in a flat cap can one prince really expect us to swallow? Remember to subscribe to British Royal Daily Update's YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell, this way you will be notified when we drop a video, stay safe.